Hi kids, thanks for joining us today. Today is about being creative. Mm -hmm. I like to be creative whenever I paint, especially with watercolors, because it's so much fun. Okay, so you guys stay tuned for the fun, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. It's time for worship. Worship is a time when we get to feel closer to our beautiful God. One of the ways that I can feel closest to God is whenever I take a walk in the woods and I can see his beautiful creation and all of the beautiful trees and plants, maybe eat a couple of really yummy berries, all of the good things. So everybody stand up and let's get ready to make some beautiful moves. He's got a, he's got a, he's got a plan. He's got a, he's got a, yes he do. He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me, he's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know, that's what I know. That's what I know, that's what I know. Let's go. I know that I can trust him. I know that I can trust him yeah. No matter what the season yeah. His plans are for a reason yeah. I know they are good I know they are best The reason I love Is because he said He's got a plan for me He's got a plan for me He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me He's got a plan for me He's got a plan for me He's got a really, really Really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. And when I'm feeling so sad, hey, when I am afraid, God will never leave me. No, 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 because love will never change. I know they are good. I know they are bad. Awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. He makes very good things Yeah, he makes very good things 
kids, I'm so excited for our Bible story today. We are learning about how God created the birds and the sea creatures. My favorite bird is the toucan because of his long beak. All right, I'm gonna finish up my creation here and I'm gonna fill in the sea while you listen to our Bible story. Just follow me through. Hoo, hoo. Follow me through, follow me through hell. I've got a Bible story for me and you. What is that beautiful sound, Stormy? Oh, <laughs> hi friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. Can you help us figure out what that sound is? Put your hand to your ear like this and listen with us. What do you hear? You're right, those are birds. Do you like the sound of those birds, Stormy? <laughs> well, there are lots of birds in today's true story from the Bible. Are you ready for our story? If you're ready, can you tweet like a bird? Tweet, tweet. <laughs> you sound ready to me. <laughs> okay, so we've been learning how God made everything. On day one, God made light and dark. Then on day two, God made the sky above the water. On day three, God made the land, plants, and sea. Then on day four, God made the sun, moon, and stars. God looked at everything he had made and saw that it was good. Can you say, it's good? Ready? It's good. God had already made so many creative, wonderful, beautiful things, but he wasn't done yet. God made even more. So on day five, God said, let the water be filled with lots and lots of sea animals. Let's think, what kind of animals live in the water? When I count to three, I want you to tell me one animal that lives in the water, okay? One, two, three. That's right. God made sea turtles. God made seahorses. God made whales and sharks. God made fish, so many different kinds of fish. God made big fish and little fish in all colors and shapes. Do you know what kind of fish this is? It's a clownfish. Do you know what kind of fish this is? It's a rainbow fish. Do you know what kind of fish this is? It's a goldfish. Can you make a fish face with me? Ready? <laughs> you all made such good fish faces. On day five, God filled the sea with lots and lots of sea animals. And God made something for the sky too. Shout it out if you know what animal God made to fly in the sky. That's right. On day five, God made birds. God made so many beautiful birds. Let's see if you know what color these birds are. What color is this bird? <laughs> yes, it's blue. God made birds that are blue. What color is this bird? Yep, it's pink. God made birds that are pink. And what color is this bird? <laughs> this bird has lots of colors. God made all different kinds of birds. God made so many awesome fish to swim in the sea and so many beautiful birds to fly in the sky. When God made all the fish and birds, he saw that it was good. Can you say, it's good? Ready? It's good. On day five, God made fish and birds. Only God can do that. God is so creative and so powerful. God made everything. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who made everything? God made everything. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made everything? God made everything. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. Hey kids, I hope you loved our Bible story today. I know I did. I love learning about how God created the birds and the sea animals. All right, I want you to repeat after me. God created the birds. All right, ready, go. God 
created the birds. Okay, now we're gonna say, God created the sea creatures. Ready? God created the sea creatures. Awesome. All right, before we go, I wanna see your best fish face. Ready? This is mine. All right, have a great day and we'll see you next week. Hi everyone, it is so good to see you. I have my buddy Kaysen with me. Kaysen, say hi to everyone. Hello. All right. Now, before we uh, get to memory verse, I have two motions to show you guys. Uh, the first one is the word uh, creation. So you put your fists together pointing forwards and then sideways, so creation. And, and there's also one more, is work. This is your works. Yeah, the second one is works, and you move your hands just from side just like to a side. Dance. Just like a dance, that's right. All right, Kaysen, are you ready for memory verse? Mm -hmm. All right, are you guys ready? So stand up onto your feet and let's do memory verse. So we are, we are God's, God's creation. creation. He, he created, created us, us to, belong to belong to Christ Jesus. Christ Jesus. Now we, now we can do good works. Can do good works. Long ago, long ago, God, God prepared good works. Prepared good works for us to do. For us to do. Ephesians 2:10. Ephesians 2:10. All right, we're going to do it one more time. Okay. We are. We are. God's. God's creation. Creation. He. He created. Created us. Us. To belong on. to Christ Jesus. To Christ Jesus. Now we, now we can do good, good works. works. Long ago, long ago, God, God prepared works, prepared works for us to do. For us to do. Ephesians 2:10. Ephesians 2:10. Good job. Way to go. All right. Woo. Bye, guys. Bye. Wow, that was such a fun Bible story, kids. I loved learning about how God made all of the fish and all of the birds. Now, before you go, you're gonna go ask your grown up one question. Are you ready for that question? The question is, what do you like to watch more, fish or birds? Ready one more time. Go ask your grown up, what do you like to watch more, fish or birds? Have a good day.